Okay, guys. So let's just start discussing about this question. As I told you, this is a triple A. I repeat, this is a triple A uh, specimen examination, and this is for basically uh, the June twenty two specimen examination, which is available on the portal. Um, we are going to be doing the question number one first, and then we'll move forward. So what is mentioned over here is that it is it is first July two thousand and five. You are a manager in Dendo and Co, a firm of chartered certified accountants, responsible for the audit of Adams Group, a listed entity. For the year ended thirty first May two thousand and five, the group operates in the textile sector, buying cotton, silk, and other raw materials to manufacture a range of goods, including. to manufacture a range of goods including clothing linen and soft furnishing the goods are sold under the adams brand name which was acquired by the group which was acquired by the group many years ago your firm was appointed as auditor in january 2005 the following exhibits available on the left hand side so this is the left hand side of the screen the following exhibits available on the left hand side of the screen um provide information relevant to the question Now it says partners email, an email which you have received from Josh Dalan, the engagement partner. Background information, information about Adams Group, general background and activities. The draft financial statements, extract from draft group financials, meeting notes. Now what exactly are the requirements to this question? Let's just try to see. It says respond to the instructions in the email from the audit engagement partner. So in the email, the partner has provided you the instructions. uh it is giving you a note that is split the marks allocation in exhibit number 1 uh partners email so and so so and so there are professional marks of four now what exactly is there with respect to the partners email let's try to discuss let's try to have an understanding of this it says to the audit manager from josh dylan from josh dylan the subject is adams group audit planning date is 1st july 2005 it says hello i need you to begin planning the audit of the adams group for the year ended 31st may 2005 as you know we have been appointed to the audit of the group financial statements you have been appointed to the audit the group financial statements and we have also been appointed to audit the financial statements of the parent company and of all subsidiaries of the group except for a foreign subsidiary so there is one foreign subsidiary which you are not going to be auditing rest all of the companies are going to be audited by yourself lenot company which is audited by a local firm clapton and co all components of the group have the same year end of 31st may and they report under ifrs and the same currency so all of the components of the group they report under ifrs uh, and they have got the same currency and you are also being told that um, Uh, the all companies are being audited by yourself except for one of the subsidiary which is being audited by clapton and co it says using the information provided i require you to prepare briefing notes for my use in which you evaluate the audit risk to be considered in planning the audit of the group. in which you evaluate the audit risk to be considered in planning the audit of group plus it says your evaluation should utilize analytical procedures for identifying relevant audit risk so what is it that you need to do you need to utilize the analytical procedures also for identifying the relevant audit risk now what next is there the next situation is it says explain the matters to be considered and the procedures to be performed in respect of planning to use the work of clapton and co so what is it that you need to do you need to explain the matters to be considered and the procedures to be performed in respect of planning to use the work of clapton and co lastly design the principal audit procedures to be performed in respect of the following balances recognized as non current assets in the group statement of financial position 12 million recognized as investment and associate and 8 million recognized as brand name lastly using information provided in exhibit number 4 meeting notes identify and evaluate any ethical threats and other professional issues which arise from the request made by group audit committee so we need to use we need to evaluate the audit risk and etc etc uh um, and explain the matters to be considered etc now what we are going to do is that we are going to perform the workings to whatever possible that is extent 
the briefing notes the examiner has not given you the word processing document here but rather the briefing notes so that's what you have to talk about then requirements you know what our requirements are the spreadsheet is there just for you to perform the analytical procedures the background information and then draft financial statement the background information and then there is this draft financial statement what i'll do is that i'll just pick up these draft financial statements and i would just copy and paste them onto the spreadsheet that we are using so that in case if i wish to calculate the different type of ratios using these draft financial statements so i am actually able to do it so i'll just copy it and i have pasted it okay so what i'll do is that i'll just try to calculate whatever that i can with respect to these uh, this company so that i am actually able to then uh, perform my i mean like uh, i'm able to actually uh, evaluate what is actually going on now so there is this revenue there is this revenue what you could do is that you could say the change in revenue there are these analytical procedures i would say the change in revenue the first thing is change in revenue now what is actually going to happen is if we have got a change in revenue it's actually going to be what this minus this divided by this so you end up getting a change in revenue then what happens is you can calculate the gp margin or you could even say the change in cost of goods sold the change in gp you could say gp margin also now so when i try to calculate okay it's actually the negative sign that is actually a causing an issue because i pasted the information here so i'm just trying to make it simplified i'm going to do it like this uh for this, this negative sign also okay so you've got change in cost of sale because there are negative values uh there is possibly something wrong with it okay i can just try to calculate it simply also equals to 463 minus 417 divided by 417 11.03% the change in gp is this the gp margin is going to be gp upon sales the gp margin here is going to be this then you have got operating expense operating profit margin operating expenses change 
the change in the operating expenses is what? 225, 250. Eleven percent. The operating profit margin is operating profit divided by sales. Then you've got net profit margin. So when you talk about the net profit margin, it is actually going to be what? Okay. Furthermore, there are other ratios that you can calculate, which is inventory holding period, receivable collection period, payable payment period. So inventory holding period is inventory divided by cost of goods sold into 365. For the receivable collection period, you have got receivable divided by sales into 365. Then payable payment period, you have got trade payable divided by COGS into 365. Now what next is there? There are other items also. The PP is unchanged. Investment property has increased slightly. Brand name is unchanged. Investment and associate has increased. The share capital, the retained earning, bank loan is the same. The tax payable has actually increased. Now see, except for these days, okay. These are days, so I've just converted them into this. Now see what happens is that if you try to calculate this is in terms of days, days, days. Interest cover is going to be what? Interest divided by, sorry, is going to be PBIT divided by interest. So you get it now. Okay, so what have we done? We've actually been able to calculate these. What have we been able to calculate? We've been able to calculate these different types of ratios from the given scenario. And you could see what I've done is I've simply used all the information which was available. I repeat, I've used all the information which was available in the spreadsheet in the question. I incorporated it here and then I calculated all the ratios. Now I've performed this uh, analytical procedure and on the basis of analytical procedure, what is it that we can identify? If you could just try to identify a few of the things from here, let's just try to see what is actually happening.
Now, when we talk about this, basically what happens is the revenue has increased by what? 11.54. Costs of goods sold have only increased by 11.03, whereas GP has increased by this. So the COGS has not increased in line with in line with sales. This may indicate this may indicate that expenses are understated. Further, the operating expenses have not increased in line with the sales indicating that there could be possible understatement of expenses. I'm not too sure, but I'm just trying to identify these pointers from what is available information to me. Then there is this uh, specific area, which is about the inventory days. They have increased indicating slow moving inventory. Then there is this receivable days. Increase in receivable collection period. Further, the interest cover has increased, indicating that the financial risk has decreased. So there are few specific things that actually need to be kept in mind when dealing with this specific scenario. Now, I have not written down any answer. All that I have right now is, I have just tried to, I repeat, all that I have done right now is that I have just tried to make sure that I'm able to identify, um, I'm just trying to make sure that I'm able to identify the different uh, relationships, different things from the workings that I'm doing. Okay. Uh, let me see your calculation screen briefly. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what formula you need. Lady, let me know what formula you need. Yeah. Here you go. The calculation screen. Okay. Let me know what, what formula do you need. Okay, thank you. Inventory turnover. Okay. The formula for, I have not calculated inventory turnover. I've calculated inventory holding period. This is simply inventory divided by cost of sale into 365. This is simply inventory divided by COGS into 365. This system got power on Yes, okay, any, any other questions that you have with respect to it, please? Yeah, any other questions that you have with respect to it, please? Let me know. Okay, good enough. So, shall I move forward now? Yes, you can calculate no recall. Yes, you can calculate the various uh, ratios without reading the financial statement. And that is what you would see that I've done. Why? Because I simply used the financial that were available. I copied them. I pasted them in the spreadsheet. And I went ahead working with this. So that is something that you can also do. And I would request all of you to please um, write down in the chat box. Uh, I'm unable to manage both a uh, question and the chat box uh, simultaneously. So I would request you people to go through the chat box uh, and try to message to everyone.
so that everyone could see your uh, questions and then if even if i am not able to respond back in time the others can respond you back okay good enough now let's just see so what have we done we have calculated we have performed this now i'm going to read the background information and i'll try to see what i can do with respect to this background information it says the group is structure and information about each of the components of the group is shown below adams company is toward company ross company lenart company beard company what was the requirement of the question evaluate the audit risk to be considered in planning the audit of group your evaluation should utilize analytical procedure for identifying the relevant audit risk now let's just see it says ross company lenart company and beard company are all wholly owned acquired subsidiaries which manufacture different textiles they are wholly owned acquired subsidiaries when you have got acquired subsidiaries that means goodwill would have been established in all the subsidiaries so that means there is something that you got to do which is to test the goodwill for impairment at each reporting day adams company also owns 25% of a steward company a company which is classified as an associate in the group sfp at a value of 12 million at 31st may 2005 The shares in Stuart Company were acquired in January five for a consideration of eleven point five million dollars. Other than this recent investment in Stuart Company, the group structure has remained unchanged for many years. Okay, so what they have done recently is that this investment only. Otherwise, the group structure. The group structure uh, remains the same now. information relevant to each of the group companies adams company is the parent in the group and its main activity is relating to holding its investment in its subsidiary and also the brand name which was purchased many years ago adams imposes an annual management charge of 800000 on each of its subsidiaries with a charge for each financial year payable in the subsequent august now let's just try to see when we talk about audit risk what is it that we think with respect to the audit risk we think that what could go wrong with the financial statement so what happens is that you think what could go wrong with the financial statement now what i am actually trying to do is that i'll try to figure out i'll try to list down the various things that come to my knowledge as soon as i go through the question so the number one of them is Adams is a parent company, so when the Adams is a parent company and it has got multiple investment and etc. etc. So what happens is that there is a risk that related party disclosures as required by IS twenty four are not provided. Furthermore, the goodwill. so there is a risk that the goodwill in subsidiaries is not tested for impairment then what happens is that the management charge because whenever you are talking about the audit risk you always have to think what could go wrong with the financial statement so there is a risk that the management charge is not eliminated from the financial statements now what next is there let's try to read ross company manufactures luxury silk clothing with almost all of its output sold through approximately 200 departmental stores so 
having 200 departmental stores may expose entity to misstatement due to weak controls then it says ross companies draft financials recognized assets of 21.5 million at 31st may 5 any silk clothing which has not been sold within the 12 months is transferred to lenot where the silk material is recycled in its manufacturing process so manufacturers luxury this luxury silk clothing with almost all of its output sold through outlets rose draft financials recognized assets of 21.5 million on 31st may 5 any silk clothing which has not been sold within 12 months is transferred to lenot where the silk material is recycled in its manufacturing process the transfer of silk is an intra group transaction and risk that such transactions are not eliminated further what happens is that further what happens is that uh, since unsold inventory is transferred to lenot this may indicate that such inventory is required to be written down i'm just writing down the pointers that i can find and then i'll gonna i'm going to mix it up and i'm going to write down an answer proper now then next it says is that lenot company is located in falland where it can benefit from low cost labor in its factories it produces low price fashion clothing for the mass market a new inventory system was introduced in march 5 in order to introduce a stronger controls over the movement of inventory between factories and stores introduction of new inventory system may lead to errors in data processing and introduction of new inventory system may lead to errors in data processing and may lead to errors in data processing and errors in data migration also next is it says lenot is audited by clapton and co and its auditors reports in all previous years have been unmodified Clapton is a small accounting firm and uh, audit firm, but is a member of an international network of firms. They not draft financials, recognize assets of this, 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 this. So the past audit, sorry, the audit has always been performed by Clapton and has always. resulted in unmodified opinions next it says beard company manufactures soft furnishings which it sells through an extensive network of retailers the company is cash rich and surplus cash is invested in large portfolio of investment properties which generate rental income 
groups accounting policies to measure uh, investment property at fair value the draft finances recognize assets of this 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 of an investment property represent this now risk of incorrect measurement of investment properties now what next is there the draft finances are available okay the meeting notes during the year the group attracted negative publicity when an investigation by a well known journalist alleged that child labor was being used by several suppliers of raw material to lenot company the group refuted the allegations claiming that the suppliers in question had no contract to supply lenot and that the group always uses raw materials from ethically responsible suppliers media coverage of the issue has now ended Group's finance director is confident that negative publicity has not affected sales of the group proposals, saying that in fact the sales are bioend, as indicated by the increase in the group revenue. So what is actually going to happen is that by virtue of this negative publicity, the group's sales may be affected in the future, and this may lead to the reduction in the NRV of the inventory. Group has a policy of non-amortization of Adams brand names. Brand name was acquired many years ago and is recognized at its original cost. Previous audit firm accepted the policy due to strength of the brand name and the fact that group has spent a significant amount each year on product development and marketing aimed at supporting the brand. The group has maintained a good market share in the last few years and management is confident that this will continue to be the case. So the brand valuation is going to be an issue. Next, it says, as part of management's strategy to increase market share, a bonus in key scheme has been put in place in the group under which senior manager receives a bonus on an increase in revenue. Now, there is a fraud risk factor involved with revenue recognition, as the employees have bonus linked to the. As the employees have the bonus linked to the revenue targets. Now, what next is there? Um, it says the group's management and accounting information system are out of date, and the group would like to develop and implement new systems next year. The audit committee would like to obtain an advice from Dendo and company on the new systems. as they have specialized little in house knowledge in addition the group audit committee requests that group audit engagement partner attend the meeting with the group's bank which is planned to held the week after the auditor's report is issued purpose of the meeting is for the group to renegotiate its existing lending facility and to extend its loan and will be attended by the group finance director and a representative of the audit committee as well as the bank manager so on so on so now that is something about the lending decision and etc if i go back to it i it says evaluate the auditors to be considered in planning the audit of group your evaluation should utilize analytical procedures for identifying the relevant auditors now let's just talk about and let's just write down the different types of auditors that actually do arise from this specific scenario okay adams company owns several subsidiaries and has investments in and as investments in associates also this requires entity to provide related party disclosures 
in accordance with the requirements of IS 24. There is a risk that there is a risk that the related party disclosures have not been provided. All of the subsidiaries of the entity are acquired. Hence, goodwill on their acquisition would have arised. There is a risk that goodwill for these subsidiaries is not. Okay, just wait a bit before I write down this. Let me just see the financial information. There is no goodwill available. So that means I should not write down this point. I repeat, I don't need to write down this point. I don't need to write down this point. I would have written down this point had there been the goodwill in the balance sheet. Uh, and if the goodwill would have been unchanged, so I would have written down this point. Okay. There are several intra group transactions that are taking place, including the management fee charged by the parent to all its subsidiaries. There is a risk that intra group transactions are not eliminated ross company is a significant component of adams company now, what do you mean by significant components? Always remember, as it says here, Ross Company's draft financial position recognizes assets of 21.5 million. Assets of 21.5 million. What are the total assets of this company? The total assets of this company is 107,500. And what is it in here? 21.5 million. Twenty one point five divided by one oh seven point five gives you twenty percent of total assets. Ross Company's assets are twenty percent of the total assets of the group. And therefore, Ross company is a significant component of Adams company. There are 200 departmental stores. There are 200 departmental stores. And managing such a large network may lead to managing such an art network may lead to control deficiencies. There is a risk that the weak controls may lead to misstatements in the entities 
फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट डू यू गेट इट नाउ या डू यू पीपल गेट इट Now what next is there? I think we've already covered that intra-group transaction, so I'm not actually going to be going through that point here. Now fourth one of them is the inventory. Holding period has increased from five point two five days nine point five days, indicating slow moving inventory. so the inventory holding period has increased this is indicating slow moving inventory further the unsold inventory of lenot sorry of ross is transferred to lenot ross's inventory is of high value and lenot inventory is low value there is a risk that inventory is not written down below the lower of cost or nrv so there is a risk that the inventory is not written down below the lower of cost or nrv adams sorry a new inventory system has been introduced the introduction of the new system has multiple drawbacks including the introduction of the new inventory system has multiple drawbacks including the misstatement of data during the data migration and also there could be bugs in the new system which may lead to data being processed to carry multiple miss statements How much is the Lenord company's assets? They are twenty-four million.
assets of lenot company are assets of lenot company are 22.32 percent of the total assets of the group and this makes lenot to be a significant component since lenot is being audited by another auditor therefore consolidating results of lenot will include a risk of reliance on the work of component auditor and miss statements as part of lenot's financial statements may lead to and miss statements as part of lenot's financial statements may lead to miss statements in group financial statements Beard Company has made investments in investment properties during the year. So what happens is that the Beard Company has made investments, investment in investment properties during the year. There are risk of classification of all. the investments as investment property and there are further risk of misstatement due to incorrect measurement of fair value of these investment properties at the year end okay there is a question it says what does it mean by r's inventory of high value okay and l's inventory is low valued okay now basically ross inventory is high valued and lenot's inventory is low valued so basically what happens is that whatever the unsold inventory i repeat whatever the unsold inventory from ross that inventory is being transferred i bet that inventory is being transferred to lenot so ross's inventory is of high value and if it is being transferred to another subsidiary which is going to process it and sell it so ultimately a low value product is going to be sold so if it is going to be low value product that is going to be sold so inventory write down has to be done do you get it now yashin yeah, do you get it now okay let's move a bit forward now the brand of adams has been acquired several years ago and is continuously being carried at its cost there is a risk that 
an assessment of the useful life of this brand name is not made at the end of the year further there is a risk that the brand is not tested for impairment revenue has increased by 11.54% whereas all the expenses etc have approximately increased by 11% the employees bonus is linked to the achievement of revenue target there is a risk that the employees bonus is linked to the achievement of revenue target there is a risk that there is a risk that there is a risk that the revenue is overestimated overestimated either through early recognition or through fictitious transactions so basically these are what the issues are going to be so when the questions requirement was that perform the analytical procedure and identify the audit risk so this is something that we have done in this scenario yeah in case if anyone has got any questions let me know so apparently we have been able to identify nine audit risk what have we been able to identify nine audit risk okay let's move a bit forward let's discuss further the next requirement of the question is explain the matters to be considered and the procedures to be performed in respect of the planning to use the work of clapton and co now this is a sort of a textbook type of an uh, question and what is this textbook type of a question so if i could just try to in fact i did not do this thing i usually do so i would copy this requirement i would paste it here
I would pick up this requirement also. Now, explain the matters to be considered and the procedures to be performed in respect of planning to use the work of Clapton and Co. So what you would do is that you would say Clapton and Co. is a component auditor and the component audited by them is a significant component. As its results, its assets are 22.32% of the total assets of the group. In order to place reliance on the work of Clapton and Co. The following procedures and following matters to be considered and the following procedures are to be performed. Number one, test competence capability and objectivity of Clapton and Co. The code of ethics that is prevalent in the, that is applicable upon Clapton and Co. Assumptions used and the work performed. So these are few matters that actually need to be considered. Now what next is there? The procedures that Clapton and Co will be required to perform will be as follows. The procedures that Clapton and Co will be required to perform Okay, uh, Calibo, that is okay. Yes, you are right. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put in a single line here that what is this partner's email? <laughs> now, which is there, sir, in response to your email, requiring briefing notes to be prepared, please find below the briefing notes for the different matters that you have that you had requested and what you could do is that you could just say number a evaluation of the audit risk using
analytical procedures for identifying relevant risks. You could see that I just amended the email. The procedures to be performed would what? Obtain confirmation from the professional accountancy body about the membership status of the partners of Clapton and Co. to confirm that they are members of a relevant professional body. Inquire about experience of the entities who have worked with Clapton and Co. in the past. Compare code of ethics as applicable upon Clapton and Co. with the IESBA code to confirm that with the IESBA's code to confirm that it is with the IESB code to confirm that it is in line with the code Then what next is going to be there? Inspect the working papers. Test the assumption used for reasonableness. So this is all that you would have to do with respect to it. So do you get it now? Yeah, do you people get it now? Is everyone okay with this? I repeat, is everyone okay with this? Now, let's move a bit forward and let's discuss further. The third requirement is that design the principal audit procedure. Always remember that when you have to design the procedures, you have to gather the relevant evidence for the relevant assertions. Design the audit procedures to be performed in respect of the following. Balances recognized as non-current assets in the group. The $12 million recognized as investment in associate and the $8 million brand name.
audit procedures in respect of the following matters are as under now if i talk about the investment in associate i just need to read through the information that is available in the question with respect to it before i can just go on writing down things about it we are being told that adam also owns 25% of a steward company a company which is classified as an associate in the group as statement of financial position at a value of 12 million at 31st may the shares were acquired in january 5 for a consideration of 11.5 million ah uh, okay now how do you get the carrying amount of investment and associate so what is what is it that you got to do first of all you got to inspect the for share purchase agreement to confirm that confirm the price paid and the shareholding acquired number 2 so you have a, you have to inspect the share purchase agreement to confirm the price paid and the shareholding which is acquired now what next is there you obtain a list of bod members to confirm slash identify the members appointed by to confirm slash identify the members appointed by adams company in order to confirm that the investment is eligible for classification as the investment is eligible for classification as associate inspect post acquisition financial information of is to work to confirm post acquisition profits then what next is there so what next is there we'll just try to see what else we can do recalculate the investment amount established as at 31st may 2000 x5 trace the finance, trace the bank statement trace the payment made for the acquisition of investment to the bank state now with respect to the brand name what is it that we already know with respect to the brand name
the brand name was acquired many years ago and is recognized at its original cost inspect title deed of the brand name to confirm ownership evaluate the assumptions used by management to assess the remaining useful life of the brand name inspect the cash flow forecast to confirm that i bit inspect the cash flow forecast to confirm that what do you need to do you need to inspect the cash flow forecast to confirm that the brand is likely to generate cash flows in future in excess of its carrying amount inspect the purchase agreement to confirm cost of the brand name inspect results of the public survey okay can we mention the review board meeting minute to confirm the decision of acquisition is being discussed and approved in the board meeting uh, yes you can do that also results of the public survey about the brands to assess the brand image prevalent to assess the brand image prevalent to assess the brand image prevalent lastly there is this using the information in exhibit number 4 meeting notes identify and evaluate any ethical threats and other professional issues which arise from the request made by the group audit committee so what would you do you would say identification and evaluation of ethical threats and other professional issues which arise from the request made by which arise from the request made by this uh, group audit committee okay thank you recalculate the recoverable amount established to confirm that there is no 
impairment in brand. Okay, lastly, identification and evaluation of ethical threats and other professional issues which arise from this, 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 this note. So let's talk. Recent publicity, it says during the year, the group attracted negative publicity when an investigation by a well-known journalist alleged that child labor was being used by several suppliers of raw materials to Lenot. Um, the group refuted to the allegations claiming that Suppliers in question had no contract to supply the not company. So an evaluation is made of these suppliers before choosing them and it should be regularly reviewed. Okay, what as an auditor do we have to do? Nothing, just wait a bit. Now, it says, the group finance director is confident negative publicity has not affected the sales of the group products, saying that in fact sales are bio -end. Now, what you need to do is that auditor has to maintain professional skepticism and need to consider the negative publicity cost and also the statements by the finance director and assess the reasons and assess if there are any impairment if there are any any inventory write downs to be recognized or if the sales have been overstated because you see what happens is you got to maintain an attitude of professional skepticism they are telling you that nothing has happened, nothing has happened. Okay, you you were telling me nothing has happened. But if you are telling me that nothing has happened, I would not just be believing upon that. Next, it says, Audit Committee requests that the group will Group audit engagement partner attends a meeting with the group's bank, which is planned to hold held the week after the audit report is issued. Purpose is the is for the group to renegotiate its existing lending facility and to extend its loan and will be attended by group finance director, a representative of audit committee, as well as bank manager. Group is hoping that audit partner will be able to confirm the group's strong financial position at the meeting and also confirm that audit included procedures on going concern, specifically the audit of the group cash flow forecast for next two years with the bank as requested as part of their lending decision. Now, the auditor can attend the meeting, but should only answer if inquired from the perspective of the work that they have performed on the financial statements. Advocacy threat will arise from the auditor the advocacy threat will arise from the auditor attending the meeting and talking about the strong cash flows and going concern. Communicating information about the entity is the management role 
and should not be performed by auditor Communicating information about entity, the management role, and should not be performed by auditor. Now, what next is there? the audit committee may threaten auditor of consequences in case if they do not accompany on the audit this will give rise to intimidation threat and the auditor should an auditor should not okay kalibo can you just repeat what you are trying to say auditor may consider resigning from the audit if he is being forced to attend the meeting as directed by audit committee yeah is there any other point that i am missing out and if you people would like to add up yeah is there any other point that you would like to add up yeah auditor will have to consider the legal uh complications that may arise if they attend the meeting in advocating the result of the entity okay yeah thank you for this now for the advice on the information system auditor should not provide such advice as it will 
need to a self interest or self review threat as the development of as the development of the information system relating to financials is not allowed as per code of ethics adams group is listed company and some of the non audit services will be prohibited so do you get it now so what have we done we have actually gone through this specific question which was about adams group and we have tried to do this whole question and alhamdulillah we have been able to do it So in case if any one of you has got any question please do let me know